Duck. Sorry, not dyke. Duck. Close enough. This is the palace. Okay, from now, from here starts the Formula One track. Monte Carlo Formula One track starts right from here. This is John Manuel Fangio, Formula One champion with his famous Mercedes. And now we are on the track. This is the starting line here. And now you will see the white stripes on the road are cars position. This one here is for the car number 28. This is for the car number 27 and 26, 25, blah, 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 till we get to the pole position. People will be everywhere on the balconies. Uh, I told you hundreds of thousands of people will come here. It's very expensive to rent a balcony uh, for two days to watch the Grand Prix. Prices can go up to over 50,000 euro for two days. Uh, it's incredibly expensive. The best views are on the top of this building where you can see almost 70% of the track. Uh, of course, they remove all the cars, all this, and they will put fences to protect. They built the pits right behind. And this is the pole position car right from here starting the track. The track is around 3.2 square, square uh, three, sorry, 3.2 kilometers and they do around 75 or 76 laps which, which makes the total distance around uh, 230 kilometers maybe uh, so for two hours. Here they will remove all these poles, they will remove this garden, this is all the removable and this is the track, they go all the way up from here. The, and here of course you have fences everywhere to protect you have a huge screen here so the tribunes and people can see what's happening this is the Hotel Hermitage I told you about Onassis here so this is the hill of Carlo Monte Carlo we are, we are going up to Monte Carlo this is the district of Monte Carlo the most famous district in Monaco and we were at the old town over there So imagine the Hotel de Paris is right here. So they destroyed the whole hotel and they are rebuilding it now. So there's a new Hotel de Paris coming out. And we are on the track. Driving on the track. And this is the famous Opera de Monaco and Casino de Monte Carlo. This is the entry of the Prince. Where there's an opera, the Prince gets in from here. And Opera with a sea view built by Garnier and this is the Hotel de Paris so they destroyed the major part they are building a new one to be to be to, to the modern standards because it's it's it was getting a little bit old and they want us to stay excellent so this is the Hotel de Paris on the left and the Casino de Monte Carlo and look at the cars you have here this is from Je this is from Switzerland this is from Russia Russian plate this is the Hotel de Paris the most famous hotel and this is the restaurant Louis Cairns where Alain Ducasse is the chief and the casino of Monte Carlo but you can't get in if you don't have a passport and this is the very famous Hotel de Paris uh, Café de Paris people come here to have a drink to watch people sometimes you have some celebrities coming here so we are basically the track normally goes like this but we're not allowed to drive there so we are continuing now on the track, going all the way down. There's a white Ferrari in front of us. Here on the right, you have a very famous nightclub and restaurant called Buddha Bar. It's really cool. Perfect place for having a drink and party. And this is the first curve that slows down really the race. And in front of you, the slowest part of the race, the Fairmont Hotel curve, or the most famous uh, hairpin or curve in a, in a Formula One race. This is a lot of accidents happens here, and people are, thousands of people everywhere watching the race on this point here. So you can film here, 
the Fairmont Hairpin, the world's most famous band. You see? And that's the track. There's a Bugatti shop. They are selling the new Bugatti. Just arrived to Monaco. Something like 3 million, 2 million and a half euro. And from here, from the slowest part of the track, we will go now to the fastest part of the track, which is the tunnel. Inside the tunnel, they can drive up to 290 kilometers. In front of us, France and Italy. And we are in Monaco. This is a beautiful Ulysse yacht and beautiful uh, rainbow. Inside the tunnel, they drive at 290. The record something was 311 by Michael Schumacher. Yeah. yeah. Look at the beautiful yacht you have here. Look at the one on the left. I need to know one thing that uh, Niki Lauda was complaining, the very famous Formula One driver, that uh, this 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 track when it's raining is completely wet except the tunnel. So he wanted the organizers to put water inside the tunnel to have the same conditions for the uh -huh. for the tires. On the left, absolutely beautiful structure, the Monaco Yacht Club. It was designed to look like a yacht. And I think personally, it really looks like a yacht. Look how nice from here. We were up there at the Prince Palace and we drove the whole country. We have some yachts here having interesting name, Sweet Doll. <laughs> this is an electric BMW. We're still on the track. the yacht show all this momentary for the yacht show normally you have a road here and the track here you have the uh, the public here you have like I don't know how many thousand people can fit here and watch the race from here they put all the, sta uh, the, the, the stages or tribunes I don't know how to say it. This is the place where they do all the events in Monaco. Concerts, uh, horse jumping competitions. Uh, so this is the only available space for, for events and stuff. Right here. So now it's gonna be for the yacht show. When it ends, it will, they will remove it and it will be something else. And this is also the track. <laughs> and this is the pits on the other side. Here you have plenty of bars and nightclubs. People can come, come for a drink here in Monaco. And we're still on the track. This is the last curve and then we've done a full tour of the track, 3.3 kilometers. It's a very famous place called Raskas, uh, nightclub, restaurant, bar, and even a little casino. People come here for a drink. That's it, we've done a whole tour. Nice.